One thing I want to mention is that our demo RS View 32 project does use VBA to load and display tank information. When you import an RS View 32 project into Factory Talk View SE, the RS View 32 VBA is not imported automatically. This is because the VBA object models and execution of VBA commands are different in Factory Talk View SE. RS View 32 VBA code executes on the server and does not have exposure to any of the client graphical objects. In Factory Talk View SE, VBA code executes on the client side of the application, and client graphical objects are exposed. This means that while some RS View 32 VBA code can be reused in Factory Talk View SE, it will need to be edited. A demo of migrating VBA code from RS View 32 to Factory Talk View SE will be covered in the third video in the RS View 32 migration series. For now, just understand that VBA is not moved over to Factory Talk View SE automatically as part of the project import. Now that we have most of the features and objects inside the project migrated, we need to finish the migration by setting up the project startup components and creating a Factory Talk View SE client file. First, we set up the startup components. These are properties of the HMI server. Right click on the HMI server and click Properties. On the Components tab, you can specify which components will be loaded when the HMI server starts up. You can also select a macro to run on startup and when the application is shut down. We will enable alarming in our application when it starts. That's it for startup. We'll hit OK here. Next, we need to create a Factory Talk View SE client file. The application configuration from RS View 32 does not convert automatically to an SE client, so we do need to create one. The Factory Talk View SE client is what lets the user view and interact at runtime with the Factory Talk View SE application. The client configuration defines the runtime client and includes information such as the name of the Factory Talk View SE application the client is connecting to, the components that will be started when the connection is made, and the runtime properties and behavior of the client. Click Tools. Launch SE Client to create a new SE Client file. To create a new client, click New. The Factory Talk View SE Client wizard comes up. Click New again to create a new configuration. Enter a name for the client file. We'll enter Test Client File. And click Next. Select the type of application the client will be connecting to. In our case, it's a network station. Select the name of the application. In this case, it's Project Conversion. We'll leave everything else here at the default setting. On the component screen, we'll set Tank Detail as our initial display. The rest can stay at the default. We'll accept the defaults on the Windows Property step and we'll accept the default for the Auto Logout properties. Finally, save our client configuration and open the client to see the application running. When the client starts, you can see that communications are working and talking with the controller. The same application is running that was running in the RS View 32 environment. Since the initial RS View 32 screen got most of its data from the controller using VBA, Notice that we do not see tank values updating as we click the tank buttons. We do see an error related to the VBA exec command, letting us know that in RS View 32, this button is called VBA code, and we need to make further modifications to the project. Again, this will be covered in the third video in the migration series. Let's take a look at the trend screen. Remember that in the RS View 32 application, there were two trends, one RS View 32 native and the other an RS Trendex extension. Notice that the native trend did not convert. However, the RS Trendex control and its configuration does convert. Now we'll look at the alarming screen. We should see alarms in the Alarms and Events Summary object. 
Note that we didn't have to change anything in the alarm configuration. We just had to change the control on the screen and import the alarms into Factory Talk Alarms and Events. Any alarms received by Factory Talk Alarms and Events are then automatically included in the summary object. So, to summarize the steps we had to take to import our RS View32 project into Factory Talk View SE on a 64 bit machine, 1. Export the RS View32 tag database using the legacy tag database utility on a 32 bit PC. This prepares the tag database for import to Factory Talk View SE on the 64 bit PC. 2. Copy the entire RS View32 project to the 64 bit PC, including the exported tag DB file from step 1. 3. Run the legacy tag database utility on the 64 bit PC to create the tag database format supported on 64 bit. 4. Create a new Factory Talk View SE application in Factory Talk View Studio. In this step, we created a network station application. 5. Create an HMI server and import the RS View32 application. 6. Create an RS Lynx Enterprise data server and configure communications to the controller or controllers. 7. Create an alarm and event server. 8. Export the HMI alarms that were imported from the RS View32 application using the alarm migration tool. 9. Import the HMI alarms to Factory Talk Alarms and Events. 10. Add a Factory Talk Alarms and Events summary object to the project. 11. Reconfigure any VBA in the project. Again, details on how to do this will be covered in video number 3. 12. Create a Factory Talk View SE client file and set up the startup configuration. Finally, 13. Run the project. The next video in the migration series will cover the work that needs to be done to finish migration of an RSView32 project to Factory Talk View SE.